How often can you say that a movie poster has no actors, no locations, no hints as to how the movie is going to play out, and as a sequel, no clue what's going to be amped up about it? And yet you're as excited as hell to check it out because so much of it was left a mystery. In the case of The Matrix Reloaded, this poster is the first example of such that I had ever seen, and it's clear the marketing department understood just how massive a success the original Matrix was to the point where all they had to do was just announce that the two-part finale, a much-anticipated two-part finale, was coming your way. And this minimalist approach is beyond impressive for me. The most we get is this quippy tagline that whether you understand the hidden metaphor, the philosophies of the Matrix franchise or not, is still incredibly catchy and hooks your interest immediately. And this release date, a numerical release date, which is neat and something that you're not often used to with a movie poster. It wasn't until after I purchased this one in particular that it had occurred to me that this was even for The Matrix Reloaded just by looking up January, February, March, April, May 15th of 2003. With these details alone, you look at it, do the math on how long the wait will be, and be disappointed that it can't come to you immediately and then be disappointed once the end result actually does come out. But I think we can all agree the coolest part of this poster is that glowing matrix rain. I have no idea what this material is made out of, and it's probably more expensive to make multiple copies of this, but if nothing else, it shows off a stylistic trait of the movie that's so flashy, even people who haven't seen the original can find it cool, and just gives a certain flair that literally no other poster has. I'm kind of surprised Marvel and DC don't make limited edition posters that make their images look neon or make an image or a character look almost three-dimensional. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. But let's be honest, when we look at a movie poster nowadays, the only words muttered are, Hey, I know her. Hey, where do I know her from? God, you're a dumb kid. That's it. As you may have noticed, like movies, I personally find their posters to be works of art. When done well, they can often give clues as to how a story unfolds, which characters are vital to the story, what magical worlds they take place in, or just be a gorgeous looking photo in and of itself. Come along with me on a journey to dissect the best and worst posters in entertainment media. Or not.